Hi, this is Tyler Moore, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to download three website tools and an internet browser that are going to help you with creating your website and going to make creating your website really easy. So uh, this is part of our free web development course, and if you just go to tyler-moore.com and click on free web development course, you'll see that this is lesson number four, website tools. All right, so just go ahead and click on that and uh, you can get all the links that are in this uh, video. And it also shows you step-by-step -step, uh, with no steps skipped in instructions. All right, so uh, let me just give you an overview of what we're doing. We're gonna download Firefox, which is an internet browser. It's like Internet Explorer or, uh, or Google Chrome. It just allows you to browse the internet. It looks just like this right here. Um, but What's cool about Firefox, it allows you to install add-ons that help you with creating your website. So we're gonna get three add-ons. Uh, the first one is Firebug, uh, the second one is Firepicker, and the third one is Measure It. So I'm gonna, in this video, I'm gonna go over and explain um, what each tool does, and then in later videos, um, I'm going to get more in detail. But you have to download these in order uh, to get on to the next lessons. All right, and this is going to make it, you know, a lot easier to uh, edit your website and and find the perfect sizes of things and stuff like that. All right, so let's get to it. We're going to go to just uh, go to Google and type in Firefox, F I R E F O X, and the first link should be download Firefox from Mozilla.org. All right, and this works on a PC and a Mac. So it's gonna um, it's gonna detect that I'm on a I'm on a Mac right here, but it's the same thing for a PC and Linux if you're on Linux. All right, so it works exactly the same. So just click on it, and right now it is downloading. All right, so it's gonna take about I don't know my internet's pretty fast, so it's going to take about 10, 10 more seconds for me, but it is a pretty big file, so it may take a minute or two or maybe even faster if you have faster internet than I do. All right, so it is done downloading. I'm just gonna click on it. And uh, for Mac, what you have to do is you have to just click and drag, and let go. All right, that's copying. All right, and it is all done installing. So uh, I'm just gonna go to my applications and click on Firefox. All right, with the PC, you probably just double click and you uh, press install and it's really easy. I do have um, on the uh, lessons, I, I have included a video on how to do it on a PC and a Mac, just in case you want it step by step. All right. So um, it's downloaded from the internet. Okay, open. That's cool. All right, so there is Firefox. All right, let me just resize it so it's perfect. There we go. So now we need to get the three tools that I was talking about, Firebug, Fire Picker, and Measure It. And the way we do that is we go to Tools up here, once you have Firefox all downloaded and installed, obviously. And then you click on Add-ons, all right? And you wanna click Extensions right here. So clicking on Extensions. And uh, first we're gonna download Firebug, so F-I-R-E-B-U-G, press Enter or Return. And we see uh, Firebug 1.12.6. Yours might be different, but it has this little uh, Firebug icon. And over here it says install. So just click on install. And it's installed. All right. Now we need to get another one. So let's uh, search for Fire Picker. That's F I R E P I C K E R. Search for that. And we see it right here and we click install, all right? 
So we installed Firebug, Fire Picker, and now we're gonna install Measure It. So we search up here, M-E-A-S-U-R-E-I-T. No spaces, no spaces in any of them. All right, and press enter, and then we see the Measure It tool, and we just click Install. All right, so they're all installed, and now what we have to do is we have to restart Firefox, so we can click this Restart Now button. All right, so I restarted it, and everything looks the same, except that we have this little Firebug tool right here, and we have this Measure It tool right here. Now, in other uh, later tutorials, I'm going to go into more details, but I don't want to leave you hanging. I, I want to, you know, explain these tools to you, but just know that if you don't understand everything right now, uh, don't freak out. It's going to be in later uh, tutorials. I just wanted this tutorial to be about downloading and installing these tools, not explaining them, but I'm going to go over them real quick. All right, so let's say we have a website. I'll just go to my website because I do have a website. And uh, we want to know how to do uh, some more advanced things like maybe change the background color right here of this right here. We want it to be a different color. We don't, we don't want it to be blue. We want it to be green, all right, or white or black. All right, so what we do is once we get on here, we click on the little uh, fire bug tool, and this pops up right here, all right? And... So what we're going to do now is we're going to click this little uh, mouse pointing icon. And you may want to maximize this video and put it in high quality. Um, you can do that at the bottom right of this YouTube video um, to see this. But it's a little arrow, uh, a little pointing arrow. And you just click on it. And then when you hover over things, it selects things. And it shows you all the code. All right, so we're just going to go over here and we're going to hover over this uh, blue box until it selects the whole box and then we're gonna click on it All right, so we can see here's the HTML which I'm gonna explain later in other tutorials and here's the CSS and CSS it styles it so it makes it like all the different colors and the positioning and everything the HTML is more of like the the bones of it, but you know, I'm gonna explain that later You don't have to understand everything now. Just know uh, this is what Firebug does. All right, so we see the header up here, and that's this area right here, the header. And we see background dash color, and we see this number sign 176093. Now, that doesn't make any sense to us, um, and that's why we downloaded Fire Picker, the second thing that we downloaded. So Firebug does this code stuff, and Fire Picker allows you to change the colors easily. I'll show you that right now. So we click on it. <clears throat> and then we get this box and we click on this blue right here. All right, so this is what Fire Picker does. It gives us a color picker. And instead of this being blue right here, <clears throat> we want it to be a different color. So we want it to be red, let's say. So we go up here and we change this to red. Now that looks pretty ugly, but <laughs> it's just a demonstration. So uh, as you can see, the numbers down here, right here, change. And that's, you know, what the computer understands. It doesn't understand a uh, very dark, dark red. You can't just tell a computer, I want it dark, dark red. You have to tell it this exact number. Um, so once you do that, you can click off of it, and it automatically replaces it with that number in that perfect shade of red. Isn't that perfect? Yeah, right. Um, so what you can do after you do this is that you copy this uh, code, or you can even just copy this. And you go into your uh, back end of WordPress or wherever, and you uh, paste it in, and you update it, and then your website looks like this. So this didn't actually change your website. It just changes the way you know it looks for right now. But if you refresh it, it's going to go back to blue. You actually have to go back into your code and um, edit it and update it in your back end after you log into WordPress. Uh, or whatever you're using. All right, so that is uh, Firebug and Fire Picker. Remember, Firebug's the code thing, and Fire Picker is the colors, the cool colors. Um, the 
The third one is measure it. And this is pretty cool because a lot of the times you don't know exactly uh, how big, let's say, this logo needs to be. I mean, uh, how, you know, how big, how many inches or, or meters or yards is this in, and how tall is it? And the computer doesn't understand inches, yards, or meters, or centimeters, or millimeters. It measures things in pixels. But that's kind of hard for a human to uh, understand. You can't just put a ruler up to your screen. Um, so that's where Measure It comes in. And we just click on the tool. And it turns this uh, pale color. And we just click. And it'll, it tells you the width and height in pixels. And pixels is the way uh, the computer measures things. So it always does width first. And this is, I don't know if you can see it. I'll zoom up here but it's 229 pixels wide and 59 pixels tall. So my that's the size of the logo that I wanna make, 229 by 56. Maybe we can do it 230 by 60, just cause it's close enough. Um, but this is really cool so that you don't have any oversized or undersized images and you know things just work and fit perfectly in your website. If you have an oversized uh, image, it can take up a long time for your website to load. It may go over the edge right here, um, or it may be too small. Uh, you want things to just fit perfectly, and that's where Measure It comes in. Now, uh, Measure It is used um, together with like a, a tool like Photoshop, or if you don't have Photoshop, like Pixlr.com, the free uh, online tool that will allow you to make your images smaller or bigger. But with this tool, you know how big or small your images should be. So it's really cool. So those are the three tools. We have Firebug for inspecting your code and making these changes, Fire Picker for uh, the colors, and Measure It uh, for measuring uh, exactly how big you want things like images and things like that. So uh, thank you so much. Remember to go to tyler-more.com for the free web development course. This is course number four. Number five is images, so how to like crop images and stuff like that. And please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate it, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks a lot.